One of the things that I actually like about this new world we're in is just how aware we've been made as a society around autism. Growing up, like there would be people that just operated a different way and they were just seen as weird or maybe even rude. And now because of the heightened awareness of autism, I know me myself, like I feel like I'm much more sharper at identifying like, oh, this person may be on the spectrum and dealing with them in a kinder, in a more conscious way and also just like gets you out of your own like ego and selfish mindset because sometimes you know when someone is speaking to you in a certain man manner like it can very immediately make you feel like oh they're being rude they got an attitude but if you just have that extra little level and layer of consciousness you're like oh it's not that they have an attitude it's not that they're being rude you know they may simply just interact differently based on their brain makeup having the awareness to be able to identify that just makes it a much better society but mostly everything else is trash though I hate everyone. Four sentences that will make you rethink your life. Number one, happiness is not the absence of problems. It's the ability to deal with them. Number two, feeling sad after making a decision doesn't mean it was the wrong decision. Number three, you're not stressed because you're doing too much. You're stressed because you're doing too little of what makes you feel most alive. And number four, the lesson you struggle with will repeat itself until you learn from it. So there's no excuse, no excuse for anyone being unvaccinated. This continues to be a pandemic of the unvaccinated. So stop looking at COVID as a partisan dividing line. See it for what it is, a god-awful disease. Let's stop sending each, seeing each other as enemies and start seeing each other for who we are fellow Americans. Why are you the way that you are? So I see this comment, come to Ethiopia, you will see what you are saying. We have 13 months within a year. So someone commented, Right now, we're in 2014, year of Mercury. Today's date is Thursday, the 22nd of March, 2014. Our new year is on the 1st of September. And I was like, wait, they're living in 2014 and we're living in 2022? Is that why they say that all time is simultaneous, like past, present, and future, we're all living in it at once? But then I saw this comment. So if we're in 2014, according to your calendar, 2020 Gregorian calendar corresponds to 2012, your calendar, when the truth started to come out and people woke. So the Mayans were right. COVID really put everyone in 2020. Using your calendar, that means that the year 2012 was the end of the world. <laughs> Mind blown. Okay. So of course I had to look up when our calendar started. It was in 1582. Ethiopian calendar started around AD 400. So they are obviously way more correct than we are. How many years did we lose switching to the Gregorian calendar? Eight years. Here's a good piece of advice. Use the weekend to build the life you want not to escape the life you have. And I know this can be challenging, but just hopefully, hopefully, this little spark of inspiration from me to you may open your eyes to the idea to spend your next coming weekends building the life you want. What's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. For the ones that are new, Welcome to Nelly's Tarot and more. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good. In the dark. In the dark. For the week. For the week of April 11. 2022 how you all doing i hope everybody is doing well i hope everybody is having a nice beginning of the week had an awesome awesome weekend um aries you have thirsty Who is thirsty? Huh? Why am I shuffling? Don't mind me. Okay. A lover. 
Are you thirsty for a lover or somebody is thirsty to be your lover? I don't know. Okay. Dry safe. All right. Oh, shit. Mm. Sorry. Then you have music. Aries. I saw you driving and you're singing your ass out and not paying attention to the drive to, to, to the to the road. Okay. Sexy. Sexy on. God bless you. You have mom. And you have you. Aries, we've been talking about how somebody, <coughs> not somebody, that you're going to have sexual encounter and <coughs> you might conceive. I think that's what it means. Okay. Now. Let's go with Taurus. Taurus, what is good with you? For the week of April 11, 2022. Shit! Taurus, you got a whole bunch of chinche open here. You have priorities. After that, you have andale, andale. Then you have love. Then you have sexual healing. Then you have transition. Oh, I'm sorry. Celebration, arts, sexy, and first base. Give me a moment. Okay, Taurus. Taurus. Your birthday season is coming okay and um i can see i can see it right here that you're making plans okay sexy time plans okay celebration arts and first base so I guess it's gonna happen for your birthday, you know? And um, it's talking about having creativity. I don't know. I, I don't know what that means to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you see this right here? Danger, danger with what? Oh shit. Danger brighter days you give me butterflies music relationship to infinity and beyond rainy days Up to no good. I am in love. No. Adultery. And wealth. I 
I hope you're not a Taurus that has is in a relationship and is trying to um, see if the grass is greener on your birthday season. Um, if that's the case, it's saying don't do it. Don't do it, Taurus. It's telling you do not do it. Look, I'm trying to shuffle and the guilt card is going to come out. If the guilt card is coming out, it means you're going to get caught. And if you don't get caught, guess what? Your conscience is not going to let you leave in peace. And let me tell you, when, when that conscience is activated, you know, especially once you know better. Now let's go with Gemini. Gemini's. Gemini's. You have fiesta. Sexual healing. Sexy. What's up with all these sexy people up in here? X. Brighter days. Danger. <sighs> Gemini, you have an ex that you you just can't can't move on from this fucking ex, you know? And this you keep going back to this ex and you think you know makeup sex is gonna fix your relationship with this person it's not gonna happen hold on a moment sorry about that when he has ex okay and he has brighter days and he has danger You think things are going to get better, but they're not going to get better. Jello lights, slow down. Slow down with what? Red light. You got to put a stop with this fuckery with this ex because it's not going to get you anywhere. Look, adultery. First base, up to no good, lover, new home, fornication, love, in peligro so let's say there is two people that you are interested the new person and your ex okay you this new person that is not your ex he has it is promising that you guys are gonna have a long-term relationship um, you guys will, may, will be living together um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the same week that you guys start going out you know making it um, making it serious you know serious commitment between you two but you will be you will be with this new person in no time okay it's not gonna take long for you either to move in with this person or for you to say i cannot get enough for you i i we need to live together let's find a place whatever the case may be gemini but you keep going back with your ex with that makeup sex with your ex you thinking things are gonna be good they're not gonna be good you keep this fuckery with your ex 
the brighter days that are promising with a new person they are in danger because the new person is gonna be like okay so you keep fucking around with your ex i don't want to have anything to do with you i won't if it was me gemini you can stay with your ex you know while i wait for a new dick that's not gonna be debating you know he knows for sure that wants to be with me he's not debating either the ex or me that's what you're getting that's what you're gonna get gemini if if you don't get your shit right and straight you know sometimes we're scared to move on and we go back to what's familiar but you know why you guys broke up in the first place you know my ex-husband can come over here and be like i'm done with my wife can we try again nope no you know because i already I, I already been there with him and done that I'm just, you know because i don't love him anymore I'm not going to tell you it was easy. It, this was a long relationship. You know? It was over 10 years. I don't remember how long, but it was over 10 years. <laughs> From 2007 until 2018 that we separated. And we divorced a year later. You know? 2019 next month is gonna be three years that I haven't been intimate with somebody you know and that's fine that's fine you know yes I have talked to other people you know yes I, you know <laughs> but that's about it you know, it, it's sometimes we we we're so cost custom and so used to one person that we think that there is nobody else for us, but that toxic person that you are familiar with. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's scary, but you cannot be scared. You know, like like I have, you know, talked to all the guys, then I have, you know, I have gone out and stuff. You know what I mean? You can't be scared. You gotta try your waters. Um, Cancerian. You have andale, andale. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> um... To infinity and beyond. X. Danger. Fast and furious. Let me stop this right here. Okay. So I can explain you so far what it's saying right here. Okay. You have an X. That's gonna come back to you. It's gonna be like to infinity and beyond. You know, you the only one for me. And all these things and that. And you know, it's gonna come to you fast. It's not gonna give you a break for you to think about it thoroughly to see if it's convenient for you to be back with him or not. Okay? Or oh, to no good. Look at this shit. That person is up to no fucking good. Is it because they're in love with someone else? This is what is on the bottom of the deck. Let's keep looking. <sighs> swallow my babies. You know what that means? You're gonna tell him. That's what you're gonna say. Adultery. So, you know, this person cheated on you. Oh, it wants to come back and say, 
he wants to come back and say infinity and beyond. He's been a fake ass. Do you have money? Do you get your taxes? Do you claim the kids? And now he's like, oh, you know, she got the money. You got music over here. You got home. Sorry about that. Teamwork makes the dream work. Health. New and in love with someone else. So, this person might tell you that they love you and everything, but you know something? They're in love with someone else. And on top of that, they have an STD. For others, they could have said, oh, I'm I got a heart problem now. Oh, I got this. I got cancer. Whatever the case may be, considering, okay? It's not your problem. I don't care how many kids you have with this person. I don't care how many years you've been with this person. This person disrespected the relationship, okay? And now wants to come back and, and to infinity and beyond. No. But you, you, you're going to know. You're not gonna do it because the Swallow My Baby's card came out in Syria. And you're not gonna. You know? Don't mind my nails. You know, I was at the movies today and um, I broke this nail with the basketball machine. Shit. That's my shit. Anyways, this is what you're gonna do. Fuck you and swallow my babies. That's what you're gonna do, Cancerian. And that's good, but you know what? This person is gonna come to you real quick. You know, they, they don't wanna give you time for you to think. Is, is this convenient for me or not? And that's not fair, Cancerian. Um. Now let's go with Leo. What's popping? Sorry about that. You know, I got kids. Supposed to be cleaning a mess that they made. But you know, we went to the movies, so it was tickets that they were already purchased. Friday for today, so Leo, you got up to no good. Sorry about that, guys. I'm recording. Do I have to duck, put duct tape on your mouse? Cabroncito. Um, what? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, bubble yum. Mom? A little surprise for that too. It will make it more tastier. What? What is that? Heart candy? Yeah. What would? <laughs> what would that mom? You put them in your mouth and you eat them with the bubble gum. It tastes better. Thank you. You know something? I'm doing that really. I'm not supposed to have the bubble gum. Wait, what? So you got up to no good, Leo. Okay. Let's see what else comes out for Leo. Adultery. Who's up to no good, Leo? Love. Drugs. Andale, andale. New home. And stop.
somebody's in a relationship somebody is cheating and is cheating with somebody that does the same recreational drugs that they like whether it's you cheating or your person cheating but somebody likes to do something recreational i don't know if you don't like to smoke weed or you like to smoke weed and somebody that you like smokes weed but there is a new house and there's gonna be drugs and there's gonna be adultery it's saying to stop rainy days so you know somebody's gonna get caught and it's gonna cause rockets okay rainy days on brighter days so this seems to me like there is nothing wrong with this relationship nothing wrong nada okay and somebody is cheating I, I guess this relationship it's boring because there is no drugs no relax <laughs> I think that was for me because I'm like, you know, if you want to be my lover, is it you? Relax. If you want to be my lover, this sounds like it's you. Arts. New. Cancerian, I think you are too deep into this person and um, you falling in love with this guy, you falling in love with this guy. Let's stop looking over here. Well, you know, um, Whoever is cheating is going to get caught. Okay? There is going to be a divorce after this. Separation, whatever the case may be. If you guys are regularly married, there's going to be a divorce. If you guys are just living together and you're not married, there is going to be a separation. Because the person that is getting cheated is not going to take this shit. It's not. It's not. Leo. Okay, keep that in mind. Now let's go with Virgo. Virgo! You have health. I hope everything is okay, Virgo. All right. You have new home. You have hurry, hurry, hurry. Jello light. What you gotta slow down for? With your mom? Peligro? Baby? Arts. Okay, so I think it's like I'm 
spray gum. This could be for a male Virgo, this could be for a female Virgo, but this Virgo, okay, is not in good terms with their, their person, okay? God bless you, God bless you, it's not in good terms. So, both of you are seeing other people. And I think that health card is talking about your person giving you something. But you like somebody else. Okay. It's telling you. It's telling you to stop. This person, it could be, it's a creative person because the art cards came out. Okay. look be my valentine okay daddy dick damn purple hills fornication okay guilt and travel I think you going to you're gonna plan something with this new person okay and yes it's gonna be fun and you know it, it's you're gonna have a good time with this person that is not the person that you live with and have kids with because you have kids with this person but you're gonna feel guilty about it once you're done oh yeah you know you had a good time you come back home you're gonna feel guilty that's what i got for you take care god bless have an awesome awesome week my loves see you next time Gosh, hey, siempre estoy ok Moviendo el culo toda la noche Quiero verte, hey Gosh, hey, sabes estoy en ley A ti te doy toda la noche Y no me pongas break